Oh, it's uh, it's uh, many a things. Uh, two great kids, two uh, honorary kids, uh, two kids that uh, had great uh, insight on what they wanted to do when they was here and had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, honorary, uh, funny. Uh, that that probably describes them the best I can think of. I would tell you about no, can't go there. No, nope, can't tell you this one. But good coaches. Great to be around, fun-loving, live every day like it's their last, the way it's supposed to be done. Uh, absolutely, lots of fun, lots of laughter around them, uh, making you feel like you're, you're part of their family. Well, the, the words that I'd come up with would be toughness, loyalness, uh, just great friends, uh, that type of things like that with them. That's just what they brought with them when they came from Chicago. You know, when they, the Ryan boys come to Southwestern, uh, Coach Maisie, they played on the defensive side of the ball. And Coach Maisie one day asked me if there was a kid that maybe they could get to, to know to kind of settle them in at the college. And, uh, but man, that's the wrong thing to ask because they, they got, I got them in with Joe Don Litch. And when you put Joe Don Litch and the two Ryan boys together and a guy named uh, uh, that come from Bartlefield's Jeff Weeks, them four, uh, there was nothing but trouble that could come out of there. But uh, uh, those four kids had a great time at Southwestern. Uh, they enjoyed it. Uh, they was known as the Ryan, boy, Ryan team, excuse me, because they all played on the scout team when they got here. Well, for the longest time, we were, we were all freshmen together, and we were on the scout team defense. And we were known as the Ryan squad, and we were a pretty good bunch of players. But we only had nine. I remember always on Thursdays and Saturday nights, there's a big group of us that would always gather over at University Park Apartments where the guys lived. And we'd always go over there and play cards and we'd listen to Marvin Gaye music. For some reason, I always remember that, uh, listening to that. We had so many good times, lots of laughter and just great times. Yeah, I remember the the first time that I, I met them, uh, they pulled up in a red uh, car and there was a citation. I'll never forget it because the, the car was so packed, it looked like it was fixing to explode. The, the windows were just bulging out and everything. And I, me, I was being a farm boy, I always knew, you know, if something didn't sound like right about a vehicle, I remember hearing it rattling. Man, this thing was just a rattling to beat the Dickens. And I thought, boy, what's the deal here? And these two boys get out and they got shorts on. and. And uh, they looked just alike. I thought, look at these guys. I wonder what these boys are about. Uh, got to ask them. I said, boys, what's this rattling here, boys? Well, you know, in this car, I'm sure making a lot of noise here. And he told oh, Rex, I'll never forget looking at me. I said, how long has he been doing that, Rex? Been doing it since uh, OKC. I said, OKC? I said, he goes, yeah, I've been rattling to the heck. And man, the light come on on the dash. I said, huh. So I went in there and turned the key over. Look at it, oil lights on. I mean, this thing is out of oil. And they are knocking and carrying on. And so uh, anyway, so we turned it off there and unloaded this massive stuff that looked like it took a, a, a Greyhound uh, bus to carry it. And we had to carry all this stuff up to his room. And we introduced each other. And then later that day, we went back to look at the car. It wouldn't even start. The engine's locked up. So we had to pull it down to a, to a dealership down there. And what had happened is they had, had oil changed and uh, the, the plug had backed off and drained all the oil. Coach Perkins set us up to clean the basketball gym after every home game. And then there'd be a basketball game between me and Marty Lorenz and the Ryan twins. And we'd get after it in basketball. And I don't know that we ever won. I also remember my best friend, Kelly Doyle. She and I would always go running on Sunday afternoons with Rex and Rob. Uh, Rex and I would usually buddy up and Rob and Kelly would be up ahead of us running. But we'd run around campus, and oh, those hills would kill us. Uh, I'm not going to tell the best stories. I'll just tell about their academic uh, prowess and uh, their great courage of meeting at 8 o'clock in the morning on Mondays, which was always an inspiration to me because they were so energetic. Uh, Rex always was ready to talk, but Rob kind of uh, took the day off. But that, uh, those are things I remember. And one of the best ones I have, you know they're, you're talking to summa cum laude graduates. I know for a fact because I was behind them on graduation day and they handed the little note to Dr. Shaw and he went along with it and they are summa cum laude graduates from Southwestern. 
it, it's just a great feeling. It, it, you know, you get a little more excited when you watch it on TV because you've uh, had a little influence or you, you know them and where they come from and how hard they worked. Uh, they were great competitors. They loved to win and, and what they've done and where they're at today is, is a very fine tribute to the hard work and dedication they put in. Well, I, you know, I'm, I'm so proud to, to know these guys. I mean, you know, when they were at OU and OSU, it was uh, fun to watch them. Uh, they kind of remind me of the WWE because they, they call out guys and uh, <laughs> Belichick and people like that, the Eagles, and, and back it up. So to me, they're kind of like a throwback to the guys I know in the 40s and 50s who went to college. They're just a typical uh, Southwestern guy. They're tough. They're hardworking. And so it's a great source of pride that when they bring Southwestern up on uh, national television all the time. Today when I see you guys on TV, it just makes me feel so very, very proud of you guys and, and knowing that uh, you shared part of your lives with us uh, here at Southwestern and so, uh, so full of, of warmth in my heart when I see you guys on TV. It's just wonderful. That it's a sense of great pride knowing that the love the stage that they're on, great coaches, great individuals, good guys above all. Not only are they very knowledgeable coaches, but also they are great guys, the ones you take to a back alley with you. And it just knowing that they're a bulldog for life is pretty special. The boys was just, football was bred into them. So we knew that, that, that it's going to be special. I always did, they was, you know, because it's always just really loyal to you. If they ever came your friend, there's always going to be your friend. And I just knew that anything that they'd done, they'd never forget you where they came from. And, and now I see them in an NFL, you think, man, they really made it. You know, which I had no doubt. I mean, because they're just good leaders. I mean, you can always re remember about them guys. When they put their mind to something, it's going to happen. And then that's why the uh, Rex and Rob's the way they are today. That's why they're winners. I mean, they believe in what they do. So I'm so proud to think that they have me as their friend, and I can call them my friend. So I really appreciate them. On behalf of the entire Dallas Cowboys organization, we would like to congratulate Coach Rob Ryan on his induction into the Southwestern Oklahoma State University Hall of Fame.